a precious memory away from intensive care for Connie Yates and Chris Gard, together with son Charlie. Taken on the roof of Great Ormond Street, the family picnic was organised by nurses at the hospital. Charlie is kept alive with a mechanical ventilator. He's fed through a tube and is seriously brain damaged. His parents want to take him to the United States for experimental treatment and have crowdfunded £1.3 million. They can't understand why the hospital is blocking them. We've had to stomach the fact that they don't want to do the treatment here. OK, we don't agree with that, but we have to accept that. But the fact that they are blocking us from taking him to another hospital in the world with one of the leading experts in this area... Um, Who's a neurologist? I, I can't, still to this day, cannot get my head round. This case has never been about money. Doctors here at Great Ormond Street did consider giving the experimental treatment on offer in the United States, but they and independent experts were unanimous that it could not reverse Charlie's serious brain damage and may indeed prolong his suffering. So the kindest option would be to allow him to die. Last week, the parents emerged distraught from the Supreme Court in London. Every UK judge involved has agreed Charlie should be allowed to die with dignity. This medical ethicist says the courts have to consider what is in Charlie's best interests. Well, it is one of the tragedies of human existence that life can become painful and burdensome to any uh, human creature. And three sets of judges have ta and independent experts have taken the view that that has become the case with Charlie. Today, judges at the European Court of Human Rights in France said life support must continue until midnight on Monday to give time for the parents to submit their case. Whatever is eventually decided by the court in Strasbourg will seal Charlie's fate. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.